Good morning, everybody. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is not necessarily a happy one, but I wanted to record this life experience to show you guys if somebody runs into the same problem, the steps that I took to resolve it and what it was like. Um, so basically, long story short, my PayPal was hacked and somebody has requested $3,000 in two separate transactions from my bank account that is linked to my PayPal. So I had originally called PayPal. I got like an email about these two transactions over the weekend. Immediately I called PayPal to try to let them know that these were not, they were unauthorized purchases. I did not request $3,000 from my bank to go to my PayPal account. I was able to talk to somebody briefly, but then they wanted to transfer me over to a specialist to take care of my case. They put me on a phone for 45 minutes on hold, so I ended up hanging up. I had called not at a convenient time to stay on the phone for an hour, so I ended up hanging up. A day later, I tried logging onto my PayPal account because the woman who I was able to speak to briefly through PayPal just told me that the best thing that I can do until a specialist can look at my case is to change my password. I tried going onto my PayPal. Everything is in French, so I'm assuming someone from France is trying to take my money. I couldn't get onto my account to change my password. Somebody has already changed my password. So I called them again, PayPal again, immediately this morning. Same stupid BS, explain the whole situation once again to a person and they put me on hold for a long period of time. I ended up hanging out, hanging up with them because while I was on hold, I checked my bank account to see if anything has been done and yes, they tried to withdraw $3,000 and now have put me into the negative. So not only am I continuously trying to get charged the $3,000, I am getting feed for insufficient funds. So I immediately called my bank and I told them there are fraudulent charges, they put a freeze on my account, nothing can come out, nothing can come in. Luckily, me and my husband have a different account with a different bank so like this money is just like my door dashing stuff but I literally just got paid for my week of door dashing and now I have no money because they took it all so they said that they could they are you mimicking me <laughs> they said the bank said that they will um either try to get the money back from PayPal or if they can't get it back from PayPal that they're gonna credit me. So I'm gonna let you guys know literally everything that is going on. I'm currently at the bank right now. They said I need to come in and fill out fraudulent paperwork. This is my first time experiencing this. And yes, it's extremely stressful. I was actually like on the phone this morning crying to this gentleman that we're about to go talk in. And I'm like, I am trying to do everything I can to help myself. It doesn't seem like anyone is like there to help me. So hopefully we can get this situated. I will let you know exactly what we do in the bank. Obviously, I'm not going to record in a public bank. After this, I am going to close this bank account because once again, this was just linked to my door dashing. So I'm going to switch my door dashing over to my husband's bank account as well um, and just eliminate this problem. And I also want my PayPal deleted. The only reason that I had a PayPal to begin with is because when I was affiliated with Scale Lab, back in i think between 2017 to 2018 that's how the partnership paid me um but now that i am no longer affiliated with scale lab i am just partnered through uh like a um you know youtube partner with separate different affiliates um i no longer work with scale lab so i do not need paypal because i am um paid other ways so uh, that is what I'm going in I'm just going to bring my ID just bring my wallet obviously I'm gonna assume they're gonna ask for some identification um, but other than that I am going in blindly I'm just hoping that this is not gonna be a grueling and a awful uh, you know I, I need my money back <laughs> so I'll let you guys know how it goes all right guys so we just got out of the bank i have gotten all my money back so basically i had them close the account i went in i explained what charges were legitimate what charges were fraudulent explained to them that i tried calling paypal and they did tell me to still call paypal later to let them know of the charge so i'm gonna have to sit there forever on speakerphone and wait for a specialist um but that's fine i'll just choose like when i'm cleaning the house or something and just put my speaker my phone on speaker um so so I went in, I closed my account, um, they returned all the fees, so they put my me back in positive where I was, and 
I got all my money in cash and I'm just gonna go deposit it deposit it into my husband's account right now. So it was very easy from my bank's point of view, um, getting my money back, there was no problem with that. So I'm really grateful for that. Um, and obviously because my bank accounts are closed, even if they try to go into my PayPal, the only bank that was linked up with that account is the one that I just closed. So they're not getting anything from me. Um, this experience was not only extremely stressful, um, but also kind of scary that like, I really feel like they got my data because I had gotten a new phone. I feel like this had happened because when I got my new iPhone, when I, I, I smashed my iPhone, by the way, I'm actually pushing this video out. Um, actually, today's probably my birthday. <laughs> if it's on Friday, May 31st, today is my birthday. I'm going to try to get it out either Friday or Saturday. I have a couple pre-recorded videos, but I want to get this one out first because this one's important. No, that is not your headphones. My camera decided to shift ever so slightly. So the microphone was covered just enough for the end of my story and the resolution of my story. So that is why I'm with you tonight, not with one, but two ugly bathrobes because I'm outside right now. My face is very, very patchy. I am currently tanning um, and I was editing this video. I love editing my video outside, especially on these warmer nights. Um, I'm just not wearing, trying to wear any clothes because I got to go shower this off soon. Um, but. I was editing the video and I came across this problem. So let me uh, try to uh, let you guys know what happened. Okay, so we were talking about how I thought that the hacker could have gotten my data in the first place. So I was explaining that I had dropped my iPhone. That was okay. The screen was cracked, but still usable as my daily camera at the moment. Um, but then I dropped it a second time. And the second time I dropped it, there ended up being a crack going right through the camera. So I had to change over um, my phone because I, I don't have my Canon still. Um, and I, I just, this was the only way I could film anything for you guys. Um, so I feel like within that data transfer, because it took so long, we tried to transfer data at the um, store itself several times on different days. Their Wi-Fi was so incredibly slow, it didn't work. And I took it home and tried it a couple times. So there was a lot of chances that my data could have been um, swept up and it was. So these people were able to access like my, let me, let me adjust a little so I'm more in my spotlight. Sorry, it's getting darker by the second you guys, bear with me. These people had successfully hacked my PayPal account. They changed my language to French so I couldn't understand anything. There was one time um, before it got nasty, actually, I was able to log on my PayPal just fine when I was first getting these suspicious messages. Right then and there, I should have changed my password. That is my first recommendation to you. The moment you get a weird email, change your password. Um, I didn't do that. I logged on and was like, hmm, nothing strange here. So I just left it. Then I tried logging on several times and they had changed my password. They had changed the language. They changed absolutely everything. So there was nothing that I could do after being on hold with PayPal over these couple of days. And then finally actually seeing something happening. Oh, oh gosh, I need some bug spray. I didn't want to spray myself because um, I'm tanning, but I sprayed like my hairline just to keep them away. But yeah, they were able to resolve it really, really fast. As soon as I got in touch with my bank, I think honestly, if any Anything ever happens like this I think your safest thing I think the first step you need to do is actually contact your bank because if I did that first they would have freezed my account so nothing would have been able to come in or out to begin with um, obviously it's a pain in the neck I had you know a check supposed to be coming out as well and I had to call them and tell them don't cash that it's gonna get bounced because I had to close out my account so again I closed down my entire um, account that was affiliated with that bank you know I've just I'm on to a different bank so that account is like officially again gone um, 
And so this was just a really scary and crappy thing to be dealing with a couple days before my birthday, but this is how I handle it. And it was, and this was my um, personal experience. And I hope it was interesting for you guys and entertaining. And I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to leave a comment or a question, please feel free, reach out to me on my Facebook and my Instagram, find the thumbnail of this video and leave your post there. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.